Printing labels in Ricochet is a very straightforward process, but you do want to take a second and set up your label settings. Start out by going to Preferences, then to Products, and click on the Labels folder. Here you will see there are three label sizes available. The 2 and a quarter by 1 and a quarter, the 1 by 1 and a half, and the Jewelry Butterfly label. You can turn each label option active by clicking the Active Toggle button, and then choose your default label size. Because the 2 and a quarter by 1 and a quarter label has more available real estate, you can choose what you would like to display on the label. Primary display will allow you to display the item name, short description, or display your auto discount dates and prices. The description field will allow you to display the item's short description or the item's attributes, but keep in mind that attributes attached to an item will print in the description field with the item name by default. Next in the additional info field, you can choose what will print in the lower right hand corner. The consigner ID created by the software, custom ID if you've added in a vendor booth number or business name, category, in stock date, or choose nothing. Go ahead and click save to save your changes. Now go to a consigner's inventory or to the product screen to print labels. There are two ways to print labels. If you're inside of an item, maybe after adding it into the system, you can click Save and Print, or in a consigner's inventory or the product section of the software, simply check the box next to any item, then click Print Labels. You can start out by choosing the label you would like to print to the two and a quarter by one and a quarter, the one by one and a half, or the jewelry label. You will see the one by one and one half will have the barcode, SKU, item name and attributes, but the jewelry label will only have room for the SKU and the price. So for jewelry, you would want to type in the SKU in the search field when looking up jewelry items at the POS screen. The software will print the current quantity of an item, but you can add or subtract how many labels you print. And by clicking the variant dropdown, you can choose to change the quantity printed of any of your item's variants. Above the print button, you will also see a print total to see how many labels you will be printing. Go ahead and click print. Now you will be directed to the Google Chrome print preview screen. And if you're not using Google Chrome to run the software, please make sure to be doing so. If the Dymo 450 is not showing up in the destination field, then click the drop-down menu and either select the Dymo 450 or click See More to see the full list of printers. Go ahead and click the Dymo 450. The last step would be to click More Settings and update the label size. If you've swapped out a roll of labels for another size, simply update the label size in the Paper Size drop-down. 